Hydrogel learned to play Pong British scientists have developed a hydrogel that they have learned play a simple game from the 1970s, Pong. What's more, this spongy clex over time he improved his results. Even simple materials such as hydrogels can adapt to the environment around them in a way similar to what observed in living systems. This was demonstrated by research conducted by the team DR Yoshikatsu Hayashi from the University of Reading, where scholars combined hydrogel for electrodes and they taught him how to play Pong. Pong is a classic video game, which is a very simple table tennis simulation. The results and description of the research were published in the Cell Reports magazine Physical Science. Scientists from the University of Reading have developed a simple hydrogel, a kind of soft, flexible material that can learn to play a simple 1970s computer game. Moreover, combined with computer simulation a classic game using a specially built multi-electrode board, he showed an improvement in his performance over time. Scientists drew inspiration from a work from two years ago in which Australian researchers taught a group of human and mouse brain cells play this classic video game. Our research shows that even very simple materials they may exhibit complex, adaptive behaviors, usually associated with systems living or advanced artificial intelligence. This opens up exciting possibilities to develop new types of smart materials that can learn and adapt to your environment, Hayashi said. Researchers believe that learning results from movement-charged particles inside the hydrogel in response to electrical stimulation, by creating a form of memory in the material itself. Ionic hydrogels can achieve this the very type of memory mechanics what more complex new networks. We demonstrated, that hydrogels not only can play Pong, but over time they can become in the increasingly better was emphasized by the CEO author of the publication, Vincent Strong from University of Reading. These results show that synthetic materials can use the basic form of memory to increase performance. The system demonstrates memory in much the same way that a riverbed records memory of the river said Brett Kagan of Cortical Labs in Melbourne, Australia, the main author of a study from two years ago, which showed that brain cells in the vessel can learn to play Pong if they are electrically stimulated in a way that will provide them with feedback on their performance. Hayashi and his colleagues focused on gelatinous materials, i.e. hydrogels. They contain charged molecules called ions. When this type of hydrogel is stimulated electrically, the ions move through the material and pull behind them water molecules, causing the hydrogel to change shape. Our work addresses the question of whether simple, artificial systems, they can calculate closed loops similar to feedback loops that they allow our brains to control our bodies. The basic principle of both neurons and hydrogels are that ion migration and distribution can work as a memory function that can correlate with sensory motor loops in Pong's world. In neurons, ions move inside cells. In gel they move outside admitted Hayashi. To check if this memory can enable the hydrogel playing Pong, scientists used electrodes to connect the material to the game. The game state divided into six parts, which corresponded to six pairs of electrodes. For every together, when the ball has moved through one of the squares, appropriate the electrodes sent an electrical signal to the hydrogel, causing a change in position ions. The sensor electrodes then measured the electric current of the rearranged one's ions and passed this information back to the computer he was interpreting them as a command to move the playing palette to a new position. With time this created a basic memory because the movement of ions depended on their previous one's rearrangements. At first, the hydrogel hit the ball for only about half time, 
but he increased his strike rate to 60% in about 24 minutes, indicating that the material is updating its memory regarding traffic falls, using the ion pattern. Performance improvements also resulted in longer exchanges, periods when the ball was in play. Scientists conducted control experiments that they involved providing the hydrogel with incorrect information about the position of the ball or making work on blind by not stimulating. This meant that the position of the ions in the gel did not accurately reflect the game on the screen. Hydrogel that showed no signs of improvement under these conditions, suggesting that it is improving only after providing correct information. The authors of the publication claim that hydrogels represent another type intelligences than most existing artificial algorithms intelligence coming from neural networks. They could be used for development of new, simpler algorithms. Scientists plan further in the future study memory hydrogel by analyzing the mechanisms behind it and testing them ability to perform other tasks.